Do you want to be behind against the Dallas Cowboys, at least who we think the Dallas Cowboys are defensively? Absolutely not. But when you have some of the skilled players around you that Brock Purdy does, when you have Kyle Shanahan calling and diagramming plays, and you've played as much football, even if it's just not in the NFL as Brock Purdy has, you believe in yourself and you believe in this offense, and that makes me comfortable with him in that situation. Look, let's talk about how unlikely this is. I tweeted last week that this is the unlikeliest story we've ever seen and Kurt Warner got all over me on Twitter <laughs> so here's what I would say to Kurt his origin story is the unlikeliest in NFL history right but the year that they won the Super Bowl Kurt Warner Kurt was the Warner MVP was of 76 but, but, what's that he was 76 years old <laughs> exactly no but here's the point that Kurt Warner was the MVP of the league the year that they won that Super Bowl. Brock Purdy hadn't played in a game yeah. two months ago, and now all of a sudden he's going to lead this team to a Super Bowl championship. If he does it, it's different. Kurt, no disrespect. You're still, <laughs> they made a movie about it, for crying out loud. Yeah. Can Brock Purdy win this game if they needed to be on his shoulders? He can. I mean, he has the ability. Will I he? think the thing, will he? Look, I, I think that at some point, because of how he's playing recently, and, and this is why I would say, like, I think when he took over, it was very much, hey, like this is the play, do it how we've coached it. And I think when now we've seen from Brock Purdy a little more confidence, a little more, hey, it's not there, I'm going to go outside of the design of the play and make a play. And I think that he's gotten away with that so far. It's been good for the Niners. Go watch the, the game against Seattle. That's not just everything right on time. It's more creating. You get into trouble as a quarterback doing that, and you learn from those mistakes in doing that. If he tries to do that against this Dallas team, I think that's where it becomes an issue. Well, but what are we hearing sure. out of there? What, what, what are we hearing about the Kyle Shanahan, Brock Purdy of it all? That it, we obviously see that it's working, but I go back to Trent Williams when Purdy took over. First quote he gave to reporters was, this guy has it, we believe in him. And I remember thinking, what? What is he talking about? It, and, and Trent Williams has never been that type of player that just is going to say to say it. There's something behind that, right? So they've seen something. He has a way about the about his presence with this team that's made them believe that he can do it and maybe he can come through in the big moment. Ninko, when you were in New England, your mm -hmm. defenses and Bill Belichick just destroyed rookie quarterbacks. There's a, all sorts of statistical. So he's still a rookie. I mean, we sometimes forget that not only didn't he play most of this season, but he is also still a rookie. Yeah. What's your game plan against him this weekend? Well, well number one, you got to disguise well. You can't show your hand, so to speak. And you got to make sure that, that you disguise well and then make him throw from the pocket because we've seen him scramble. He is mobile. He's got some moves. He can get out of the pocket. He can throw from the run. So you keep him in the pocket. And he's not a, a huge guy. So a, a shorter quarterback when you're condensed in the pocket, you're having to throw over guys that are 6'5", 320. You've got a big defensive front coming after you. So at times, you, there's a vision problem. And, and I think back to when we would play Drew Brees, he literally would be on his tippy toes looking through the bottom of his face mask to try and see over the offensive line. So the game plan was condense the pocket. Get in front of him. Don't let him have big windows. But when you run past the quarterback, you can see down the field. So, you know, again, young quarterback, make him – Make all the throws. You have to make the third and ten plus throws. And don't give them easy out passes to the flat to, like, uh, McCaffrey for easy first down. So, looking at Divisional Weekend, we could break it down like this. The NFC games are about the storylines. Mm. The AFC games are about the superstar quarterbacks. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.